What's up, guys? Tongued up. Welcome back. It's a continuation on my rebuild on the uh, 1ZZ motor. It's the upper block. So the uh, the upper block is clean up, reassemble. So the best way to clean out these holes right here for the oil to go through is a little small flat screwdriver. Got this from the uh, dollar store. They come in the whole set. They fit perfectly in there, and just work it and get all the gunk out of there. Now they all clean up. All right, we're going to insert this piston back in there. So they all line up properly, just carefully, not just scratching anything. And uh, double check, make sure there's no like uh, dirt, anything like that, because I do have a lot of sands and other things that could fall in here and scratch up the uh, the crankshaft along with the bearings. So make sure it's make sure it's nice and clean. So before you put the cap back on, add a little more oil to it.
So the uh, connecting rod torque specs of 15 foot pounds plus another 90. I'm going to tighten them down 15 foot pounds. Then I'll come back and do another 90 on that. Now the connecting rod is all tightened down. I'm going to install the uh, oil pickup line back in here and uh, followed by the uh, oil pan. Clean up the upper block with new seals along with the oil pan all ready to go. I'm going to install the uh, upper block onto this lower block right here. I got the uh, surface all cleaned up and uh, but before that let me go ahead and uh, turn the motor over to have top dead center on cylinder number one.
Now it's top dead center. You also see over here, half is facing to the top. The new rebuild kit came with um, brand new bolts. You don't want to use the old ones because they kind of stretch out already. Here's a new head gasket right here. You only go in one way. I'm going to use the uh, old washers with new bolts. Uh, we got all the uh, new bolts soaked in oil. You want to start tightening all the bolts from the center and out. They are 36 foot pound for each bolt plus another 90. So you can start with the two in the center. You can say this is one, two, then you can go three, four, five, six, or you can flip flop them like one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Different pattern. I launch yourself from this, from the inside to the outside, and do the crisscross um, method. This diagram you can use. I'm gonna start out with 20 foot pounds, then work myself up to 36 foot pounds.
Now we'll go with 36 foot pound. So here I got 35 and plus one, I'll make 36. So right now everything is at 36 foot pound. So the next step is uh, for example, if you, if you set your uh, breaker bar right here and you want to turn basically 90 and keep and do it on all of them and turn 90. So it's not quite at 3 o'clock. So when I turn it, I'm going to be somewhere a little past 6 o'clock. So when I turn it, I want to pass somewhere around 6 o'clock. Right there. One. If you want to, you can mark each one of these bolts so you know which one you did already. I already marked the bolts I tightened already. So I got two, four, six tightened. So I got two more at the end. So I'm going to go do this one next. And 
this one. And the last one. Flip a little bit. Let me try to turn it more. Kind of scary. Uh, sometimes these aftermarket bolts. I don't know how strong the steels are. There's a lot of play in it, this one. Ooh, that's not good. I started out with a six-sided bit. I got all them loose. I was able to tighten everything up, except for one right here. Um, after I took everything down, I did the 90. I was able to get like halfway up to 90, and it slipped. So I went down to the store and pick up some of these bits right here. These are designed for the head bolts. These got a lot more size to them. And I was able to tighten this one all the way up. And uh, I went ahead and we installed this sensor right here. And anything require new O-rings, go and replace them. You can see I tear some of them out and replace them. Including the uh, dipstick, there's another O-ring right there. The top one I left there alone. So I went and replaced the, uh, the lower one, which will go in here later on. And the next step I'm gonna do is uh, putting these shaft back in there and line everything up.